Hey everybody, I uh, wanted to do a quick introduction video on a new build I'm doing. Uh, this is going to be a kind of a, a series video again. Uh, I'm starting on a new, uh, new project, it's the solar kiln build. Uh, this wasn't really uh, a project that was on my mind for uh, the big house build, but we've had so much rain lately that I've had a, a bunch of trouble keeping my wood dry. So <clears throat> I've come across uh, the Virginia Tech solar kiln build. Uh, they actually have the plans here. I'll show you in a little bit that are really handy. Um, I've already started, you can see, uh, cutting the wood for it. Um, now, as part of the introduction here, I actually um, went ahead and bought a trailer. This is a 25 foot, obviously a dual axle. It's an old camper trailer. Uh, I only paid 400 bucks for it. It was a pretty, pretty smoking deal. Uh, it's got trailer brakes um, and a bunch of, uh, bunch of nice tie-in spots here for a deck. I'm gonna be doing a deck over trailer. So the trailer, the, I've got a one by eights here, or two by eights that are gonna come up and over the tires. Um, that'll help load the wood better with the Bobcat. Um, and then I've got this fancy step here from the, from the previous trailer. So uh, again, it's a 25 foot trailer, uh, be a solar kiln. Um, and if you haven't heard anything about solar kilns before, I'll kind of show you what it looks like. Um, these plans are really nice and helpful. Uh, they show you how to frame it in. And this is actually what it looks like. I'll come over here where it's not so windy. This is what a solar kiln looks like right here if you haven't heard about it. Um, it's basically just a, a, a glorified greenhouse with a bunch of air ventilation. So this particular model, I think they said this holds about a thousand square foot and I think it's 12 foot long. So you can see the back entrance. Now mine's gonna probably hold double that. Mine will hold a, probably around 2000 square foot. One thing that's nice about these particular set of plans here is uh, they actually give you a cut sheet so you know exactly what to cut. Um, I don't have it right now. Uh, they actually specify that they want you to do all the siding with plywood. I'm gonna end up do it, doing it with tum tongue and groove. I've got most of it already cut and ready to go. So it's cool, they give you like, you know, all the basic instructions, they give you dry times. Uh, anything you need to know about solar kilns, it, it's put in, it's put in this publication. You can get it off the internet, so that's how I, I found out about it. Uh, there's actually pictures of people that have put it on trailers too. Um, for me, it needs to be mobile, so that's the reason I'm putting it on a trailer. Uh, I just put an ad on Craigslist, wanted junk trailer for a hundred bucks, and this one came across. So it's, I only wanted a 12-foot trailer, but this is a 12, obviously a 25, so I'll be able to do two, two loads of 12 foot, which actually is gonna be pretty nice uh, in the long run. So, like I said, that's kind of the introduction to the solar kiln. Um, it's gonna reduce my dry times from uh, pretty much a month to two months down to about two weeks. Uh, and lately, with all the rain, the stuff's not even drying, so. Uh, I'll probably be picking this up uh, in August. Uh, by then I should have all the lumber ready to go and then we'll be able to make a video showing you the build and how everything comes together and you know what it looks like. It won't look like a pile of crap right now even though it is a pretty decent trailer. So with that uh, I'll let you go and see you on the next video.